hello everyone i hope all are fine today i'm going to tell you some simple sentences by which you can have a conversation with your kids at home and you can you know be frankly talk to them in a way that they are speaking to you so uh, what you have to do you have to learn some simple sentences which i'm going to give in over here and you just need to vocalize it you just need to remember them very carefully because some mistakes would uh, definitely uh, make low your confidence and it will not boost your confidence so try to speak up as try to speak up with me as well if I'm going to tell you the sentences and you have to speak up according to like um, after me and uh, it will definitely um, all the sentences will gonna set in your mind and you will speak according to uh, the situation whichever uh, comes in front of you so there is no need to be shy there is no need to be underconfident that you are not uh, you don't have that vocabulary to talk to kids so because kids never think about it being wrong in front of everyone so what you have to do you just have to learn some some steps some uh, sentences and go with the flow talk to them and convey your thoughts but you have to but have the idea in your mind you just have to speak up properly and um, these uh, short sentences will definitely boost your confidence because confidence is a key to success if you don't have confidence you cannot talk to anyone like even even a kid so um, you what you have to do you have to think fast and talk smart so <laughs> just don't work on smartness but you have to think fast as well because if you don't think fast then you can be stuck at some point and you're you can be fumble and you don't have those kind of words which could be fit in that situation so um, there is no night uh, there is no point to waste the time and let's get started and um, i uh, i request you to please subscribe my channel if you do like my videos then do comment in the comment section that you are liking my videos and let's start the video okay sometimes you are in in a situation where everyone is there and like mostly elders are sitting over there and they don't want uh, the children to talk loud so whatever you do like agar bachche bahut uncha bol rahe hain to aapne kehna hai don't shout don't shout theek hai jab bachche bahut uncha bolte hain to aapne kehna hai don't shout इसी सिचुएशन में आपने जो है उनको चुप भी करवाना है यू हैव टू मेक दम कीप क्वाइट सो वट यू कैन से इन दैट सिचुएशन कीप क्वाइट चुप हो जाओ वो कहेंगे हम कीप क्वाइट ओके समाइम्स जो है वो आपको समझ नहीं आ रही होती है बच्चे क्या कहना चाह रहे हैं तो आपने कहना है अ लिटल लाउडर प्लीज स्पीक अ लिटल लाउडर लिटल लाउडर इतना अगर बच्चे रो रहे हैं बहुत ज्यादा तो आपने कहना है स्टॉप क्राइंग स्टॉप क्राइंग या आप ये भी कह सकते हैं डोंट क्राई अगेन डोंट क्राई अगेन के बच्चे आपसे कुछ बात करना चाह रहे हैं तो आपने क्या कहना है स्पीक अप स्पीक अप स्पीक अप ओके अक्सर बच्चे जो हैं वो देखते हुए चलते नहीं हैं और बस चलते जाते हैं सो so आपने कहना है वॉच केयरफुली वॉच केयरफुली बच्चे बहुत ज्यादा बोल रहे हैं तो आपने कहना है स्टॉप टॉकिंग स्टॉप टॉकिंग इसी तरह अगर बच्चे जो हैं वो टेढ़ा होकर बैठे हुए हैं लाइक दिस तो आपने क्या कहना है सेट अप स्ट्रेट सेट अप स्ट्रेट ये आप उनके सामने खाना रखते हैं ठीक है जैसे खाना सामने पड़ा हुआ है टेबल पे उनके तो आपने कहना है हैव फूड हैव फूड अगर पानी पड़ा हुआ है ग्लास में तो आपने कहना है हैव वाटर हैव वाटर बच्चे खाना खा रहे हैं तो आपने क्या कहना है ईट स्लोली ईट स्लोली खाना चबा चबा कर खाओ कहना है च्यू वेल च्यू वेल आपने उनको नाश्ता बना के देख देना है तो आपने कहना हैव योर ब्रेकफस्ट हैव योर ब्रेकफस्ट बच्चे कहीं टेरा मेरा जा रहे हैं तो आपने कहना है गो स्ट्रेट सीधा जाओ गो स्ट्रेट कहीं से रोकना है आपने तो आपने कहना है डोंट गो डोंट गो नहीं जाओ अगर बच्चे सो रहे हैं तो आपने उनको उठाना है आप क्या कहेंगे गेट अप गेट अप के उठ जाओ अगर आपने उनको कहना है कि सो के उठना है ठीक है वो तो उठ जाओ का था ये बिल्कुल सो के उठना है तो आपने कहना है वेकअप वेकअप कोई चीज़ वापस करनी है 
అందుకని గివ్ ఇట్ బ్యాక్ గివ్ ఇట్ బ్యాక్ మీరా ఇంతజార్ కరో వెయిట్ ఫర్ మీ వెయిట్ ఫర్ మీ మీ సాత్ చలో వాక్ అ హెడ్ వాక్ అ హెడ్ ఉసో బులావ్ కాల్ హెమ్ కాల్ హెమ్ ఆహిస్తా చలో వాక్ స్లోలీ వాక్ స్లోలీ ఉసో మత్ బతావ్ డోంట్ టెల్ హర్ డోంట్ టెల్ హర్ పూర్ హో జాఓ స్టే అవే స్టే అవే ఆలో టేక్ అ బాత్ టేక్ అ బాత్ కుచ్బి లేలో టేక్ ఎనీ వన్ టేక్ ఎనీ వన్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద సెంటెన్సెస్ అండ్ దీస్ ఆర్ రియలీ వెరీ లిటిల్ సెంటెన్సెస్ యూ కెన్ యూ నో కీప్ ఇన్ యూర్ హెడ్ అండ్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు స్పీక్ విత్ యూర్ కెట్ ఇన్ ద సిచ్యువేషన్ ఇన్ ద యూ నో ద సిచ్యువేషన్ వేర్ యూ ఆర్ సో వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ఇస్ యూజ్ దో సెంటెన్సెస్ జస్ట్ యూ నో క్రామ్ దెమ్ ఫస్ట్ బికాస్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్రామ్ ఇట్ వెన్ యూ గోన్ అ క్రామ్ దెమ్ దెన్ యూ కెన్ యూ నో డోంట్ బి ఫంబల్ ఎట్ సమ్ టర్మ్ పాయింట్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ స్పీక్ టు దెమ్ ఇన్ ఇన్ అ వెరీ good way in a very better way and uh, that is really very important for you so don't ignore these sentences first just you know cram all the sentences one by one and then uh, go with the flow and uh, talk to your kids as well because uh, they will definitely don't uh, want to you know give you a bad reaction and uh, they will definitely impressed by um, your parenting session that uh, you are going really well and uh, you actually doing efforts uh, to make them happy as well so why not why uh, you actually want that time to come when they uh, have they actually they go to kindergarten and there you have they actually you know it's essential for you to speak in english with them so why don't you try it uh, when they are in a play uh, play mode and so you just need to be when they are growing up you need to start up with them and you just need to speak up in english with them that will definitely boost your confidence and when they uh, have to go to kindergarten when they have they got the stage uh, to you know to be in a kindergarten or a kg class then you will not um, face any difficulty or any complication at that point so just try to speak up just try to start it over as you know that english is a global language and you cannot ignore its importance i do, i am not saying that it's uh, you it's really very essential but it's it now it becomes global so uh, you cannot ignore its importance you have to keep up in your mind that please uh, go and you know learn that uh, english uh, language because it's not a night time process that you can learn at home uh, in like 24 hours or 48 hours it will take a year or maybe a couple of years to learn uh, a new vocabulary because there are a lot of words in english language that uh, nobody knows because you can whenever you can go in the habits of learning so like reading and um, studying and speaking so you can learn more and more and more and your exposure level can gain it can be expanded at that time so uh, don't ignore it just speak it up and um, uh, tell me in the comment section that how you got the video if it is helpful for you then please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, uh, bind with me for more important and more good videos for you till then take care and bye bye